Hello, brothers and sisters of the light, fellow star seeds, way showers, light bringers, the change makers, the grid workers, and the awakened collective, which is every one of you who is listening to this message. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, with another remarkable message from the Ninth Dimensional Arcturian Council, as channeled by Daniel Scranton, for December 12th, 2023. And the title of this message is The Solstice Energies and 2024. And they begin, greetings. We are the Arcturian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. You have already begun to experience the energies of the upcoming solstice and you will continue to receive as you move closer to the actual day, the actual event. We are noticing how much more you open up to the energies that are upon you when you have a big event to look forward to and experience in real time. We have been teaming up with the Andromedans, the Palladians, and so many others to deliver you quite a beautiful cocktail of energies for the solstice. We want you to know that you are being catapulted into a higher frequency of energies, a higher level of consciousness with every waking moment and with every breath that you take there on earth. And we invite you to recognize that you are doing this because you have decided that you wanted to explore consciousness in this very deliberate way. In other words, you wanted to be awake for the ascension and you wanted to lead others through the experience of awakening their consciousness and ascending themselves into a higher dimension. What this means is you've done all of this before. Of course, there were times on earth when many people were celebrating a solstice or an equinox or a full moon or an eclipse. There were many, many more percentage-wise than there are today, and that is because people have let go of their connection to nature and have connected to other ways of exploring consciousness. Religions are a good example of this. They have been widespread across the planet, and there isn't a real encouragement within most faiths to check in with what's going on inside of you or to explore nature. There isn't as much of an emphasis on the power of celestial events, and therefore humanity has moved away from tapping into all of the possibilities and all of the energies that are present at a time like the solstice. Now, to prepare yourself for the influx of energies, you do want to make sure you are taking care of yourselves by hydrating, grounding in your bodies, and grounding in the Mother Earth. You do want to keep your bodies as clean and pure as you can, and that includes your thoughts and your emotions. Do what you need to in order to cleanse away anything that no longer serves you and make yourselves the beautiful conduits of the solstice energies that you can be and that you have been. And let the solstice energies catapult into 2024 where you will be moving closer and closer to ET contact experiences and the completion of the shift as far as the energies that we are sending goes, you can expect an upgrade to all of your seven main chakras, as well as an emphasis on helping you to open up at the crown so that you can receive all of the contact, all the downloads, all the activations, everything that is coming to you in 2024 and beyond. We thank you for this opportunity to serve, and we know that some of you are opening up right now to receive. We are the Arcturian Council, and we have enjoyed connecting with you. I just love the Arcturian Council. I know that all of you listening do as well. This marvelous message was channeled by Daniel Scranton. His own website is danielscranton.com. Don't forget to stop by there and see what he has to offer. He offers weekly workshops. He has a daily mailing list you can sign up for. That's where I get my copies of these messages. He has lots of pre-recorded messages that you can download for a very nominal fee. And he's also available for personal readings. If you sign up, be prepared to wait for a while. His YouTube channel is simply his name, Daniel Scranton. I am Julie Joy, your servant of the light, and it is my honor. And with deep gratitude, I bring these beautiful messages to each one of you. Thank you so much for listening and subscribing if you're not already subscribed. Thank you so much.